How's it going everybody? So today we're going to be hitting up some thrift stores, trying to buy stuff for cheap that we can flip back on eBay for a profit. I am on like a mini vacation right now, so just a little coastal getaway vacation. So we're going to hit up some local thrift stores here, see if there's anything good. Let's head over and see what we can find. All right, so we're at the first location. This is going to be a Salvation Army family thrift store. And if you guys have been watching the channel, you guys know I'm not like a thrifter normally or I haven't been for at least a year and a half. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit more digging than normal, but I'm up for the challenge. Let's go inside and see if we fun. All right, so we had our first option. Let's see, athletic shoes are $10 and then white tags are half off. And I was thinking these maybe, but they're like way too beat up. I looked at them a little more on their, their beat. So they would have been five bucks. If they were in good condition, I would have got them. But in this condition, not even worth picking up. So I'll keep on looking around. All right, so this blanket here looks like it could be like a San Marcos blanket. I'm going to pull it out and see what the print is. Usually they're either an animal or some kind of floral print. So let's pull this one out real quick and see what it's looking like. All right, so here it is here. If I had to guess, it's definitely a San Marcos blanket. It's a really cool like mom and baby deer. But let's check the tag real quick. And yeah, San Marcos, so that's good. Um, if you guys don't, if you guys remember back when I used to thrift, I used to find these all the time. So I'm gonna pick this thing up. Before when I used to sell them, they would sell for up to upwards to like a hundred dollars. So uh, the market may have changed since then, but yeah, really cool blanket, and definitely, I believe you should still look out for these when you're out sourcing. All right, first thing in the cart, and I uh, also found these. I don't know if I'm gonna get them because they're two dollars each, but. They're from the late 90s, so this is like a Utah Jazz. They got, let's see, Sacramento Kings, Rangers, New York Mets. Uh, like most of these aren't really, like this one might be cool to get. Maybe that one too. So I might get like these two and maybe this Utah Jazz one. But the rest at $2 each, I don't think it'd probably be more of a pain to ship them than they're actually worth. So I'll go ahead and just put these back on the shelf. All right, so this one's not a big one at all, but this is a vintage Harris ashtray. And uh, they want $2 for it. Something like this you could throw on eBay and probably ask like $12.99 plus shipping and someone will pick it up. So since I'm here, I'll just pick it up. It's going to be super easy to... Uh, photograph super easy to list super easy to ship so since I'm here I'm just gonna grab that one so I think I forgot to mention but the blanket was $6.99 so seven bucks on the blanket and I got the ashtray and other things so not too bad at that first stop there is a Goodwill super close to here so let's head over there and see what we can find over there all right so we're at the Goodwill and this one's in South San Francisco and I've actually gotten a lot of good stuff out of here before so let's go inside and see what they have today. <laughs> so this is probably going to be the first pickup here. This is a like a minor league baseball hat and every time I find these they usually sell pretty quickly. This one's new with tags so that should be nice. I have no idea what team it is but a quick google search couldn't find that so but yeah, for I think the hats here are like $1.99, so I'll go ahead and pick this one up. So the kids' shoes here are $2.99, and these are nice, keen saltwater sandal shoes. And uh, yeah, they're really clean. I think for $2.99, they'll probably sell for like $20 to $25, so we'll go ahead and uh, pick up these as well. All right, so look at these things. So these are vintage party favors, but this is like Goosebumps. And I saw that there's a bunch of them. That's why I started recording. But yeah, there's... How much are they? They're $1.99 each. Yeah. Two... Here's a... Let's see. Uh, Earthworm Gems. That's <laughs> that's pretty cool. I remember playing that video game when I was a kid. So I'm going to get those. Here's another Goosebumps one. So that's pretty awesome for two bucks each. I'm going to definitely get these. And I don't know. It's going to be hard to sell them. Here's more. Yeah, there's more. There's another Goosebumps there, so. Looks like there's gonna be one, two, three, four, five Goosebumps and two Earthworm. So, I'm gonna get these for sure. All right, 
right, so I'm just getting out of Goodwill, but I did get one more thing. So this is a, let's see, what's the lady's name? Susan Wingett mug set. And I looked these things up and it looks like they're selling pretty good. I could pull up the comp real quick to show you guys, but just this little cat right here sold for pretty good money. So let me just quickly pull it up. It shouldn't take too long. Let's see, here we go. So, well, the whole set sold for 50 like a brand new set and like the cat sold for 30 pre-owned so you could potentially part them out or just sell the whole set for 50 bucks and uh, I want to say hi to Jesus who is a cash register he recognized the channel so uh, all the Halloween stuff was half off so I got this mug set it was mark 10 and I got it for five. The Goosebumps hats and the Earthworm Gym ones were considered Halloween. So a dollar a piece on those. He also hooked me up with a bag, which is pretty cool. So, uh, Jesus, nice meeting you. But uh, yeah, I think this stuff is gonna do pretty good. And we got one more stop. So there's a Goodwill Bins. I'm not gonna record in it because you're not, every time I've gone to a Goodwill Bins, you're not supposed to record. They tell you not to record. But I am going to go over there and we are going to see what we can find and I'll share with you guys what we find. So let me head over there and then we'll hopefully find stuff there. So I just got back from the Goodwill bins and I think I did pretty good. I was only in there for a few minutes. They were about to close, but I got two pairs of boots. So these are women's Red Wing boots. Uh, they say that on the back, Red Wing. But yeah, they're really nice boots. I recently sold a really like really worn and used pair of red wing boots for like almost a hundred dollars but they were a men's version so i would assume a woman's version would probably do somewhat decent as well so i'm hoping at least half of that i haven't looked them up but yeah i spent six dollars at the goodwill bins and that was these boots and then also a couple things that i got for my kids so very cheap there which is nice it just sucks that i couldn't record uh, but yeah that's what i got there and the final thing that i want to talk about at the end of this video is that i've been striving to try to do reselling as like my main source of income for a long time and it hasn't been easy and i could only imagine like how many other people are feeling the same way like reselling is probably the most fun job i've ever had and it's the most fulfilling, like the treasure hunt, the, you know, selling something on eBay. It's, it's a lot of fun, but it could be a very lonely thing. You know, it's, you're doing it by yourself most of the time. So for me, I recently started reaching out to people and talking more with people and that's really helped. Like, I think it's really important for us resellers to, you know, connect with one another and really like just talk about the day-to-day -day, just like you would at work and stuff uh but yeah i don't know i've been dealing with a lot of struggles lately and just talking to people has really helped i just wanted to say that i don't know if that's going to help anybody but thank you all so much for watching really do appreciate it we'll see you soon with another video Here. If I had to guess, to get them because they're two dollars each, but all right, so this one's not a big one at all, but this is a vintage. The hats here are like a dollar ninety-nine, so I'll go ahead. And we'll go ahead and. Uh, pick up these as well. That's fun, that's why I started recording. But yeah, there it is. One more thing, so this is a, let's see, what's the like? Women's Red Wing boots. Uh, they say that 